Oh, they're so silly. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, boys and girls. You just caught me reading one of my favorite authors, Mo Williams. Have you read any of his books? Yeah? Well, I think they are hilarious. And I also really love the way that they have their dialogue. Can you all say dialogue? Dialogue, yeah, and that's a big word for characters in a book talking, okay? So I was thinking, 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 last time I copied something from my other book, right? Maggie's Chopsticks, and then I was like, wait, I have another favorite book that I like, and I think I can copy his stuff because it's pretty funny, and it's really obvious who's talking. Like, oh my goodness, look at this page. Isn't that funny? He's like, groan, oh, because the book is called Waiting is Not Easy. And that's true. And I like how they use speech bubbles. So I know exactly who's talking, right? So I know that, oh, who's that, right? Who is that? That's Gerald. And he is definitely talking when it's the blue speech bubbles. And Piggy is definitely talking when it's the pink speech bubbles. So, and it's right next to them. So you know who's, who's gonna be um, speaking. So I like that. And I was like, maybe I can try this in my narrative story. Because remember, a narrative story is a story that's true about me or about you. And you want to make your reader feel like they were in that moment with you. And I already did that by adding some details, right? I added how I was crying and it was going down my face like a river. And now I really want to be able to capture our dialogue, how me and Bruce and Stephanie were talking to each other, because it was really Bruce's conversation with me that convinced me and persuaded me to get in that cart. Because in my head, I already was telling myself, mm, I shouldn't get in that cart, even though it looks like fun. But Bruce was saying, don't worry, I'll take care of you. I'll hold on. So I want to be able to capture that in my writing. All right. Are you guys ready to watch me try it? Okay, come with me. And then We'll see, and then you could try it afterwards, okay? Writers, we are going to add some speech bubbles to our writing so we can capture some dialogue. And remember, that's when the characters are talking to each other. And so I'm gonna go through my story and see where I'm actually talking. So I love playing outside with my sister Stephanie and friend Bruce, but one day it was not so fun to play outside. So here we're not really talking. I just introduced the characters and the setting. So I don't think I need a speech bubble anywhere there. Let's move on. We found a super cool shopping cart and had a great idea. Oh, you know what? I can capture our thoughts. Remember, we can do a thought bubble. And I might say, cool, because all of us were thinking the same thing. So I'm going to draw a big speech, a big bubble because I'm going to write the same thoughts. We were all having the same thoughts. So cool! Exclamation points. Nice. Oh, I even I like that already. It's already starting to look like one of those elephant and piggy books. Awesome. All right, let's go to the next page. Can I add some dialogue here? Well, definitely because it says Bruce said, hop in. I'll push you down the hill, but I won't let go. So we got in. So I'm just going to draw a speech bubble here and say hop in because that's exactly what he said. Hop in exclamation point. Cool. Ooh, what else can I add? Oh, no, Bruce let go of the car and it flipped over. I broke my arm and I cried. Tears flowed down my face like a river. Oh, I might write, oh no, because that's exactly what we all said right here. Oh no. Oh no. Nice. All right. Oh, so many speech bubbles. I'm so excited. My mom heard me crying and drove me to the hospital. I got my arm wrapped in a cast. Mm, I don't know. My mom wasn't really talking to me in the car because she was so worried about me. So I don't think I need to add any dialogue here because it was just me crying. Maybe I'll just put wah because I was crying the whole time over because it was so painful. Wah. Oh. From that day on, I thought twice before doing anything dangerous. 
Hmm. And that's just a lesson. So I'm not talking to anyone. So I think I'm going to leave that on its own. Wow. How many pieces of dialogue did I add to my story? Let's see. One. Actually, there's speech bubbles to show dialogue. So let me get that correct. How many speech bubbles or thought bubbles bubbles did I add? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow, I'm so impressed. I did not expect to add that much. That's super cool. So writers, you just watched me try to add speech bubbles and speech and thought bubbles <laughs> to my narrative writing. And it really shows all the talking the dialogue that was happening in the story, just like our elephant and piggy book. So now it's your turn to try it. I know you can find a, at least one place in your story where people are talking. So I can't wait to see you add your speech bubbles or thought bubbles. And I'll see you next time for Writer's Workshop. Have fun. Bye.